a full metal jaguar is based around two things not getting hit and uh, playing with TP and HP and it has a general theme of bloodlust um, Full Metal Jaguar is the class that Alma uses, which is the main character of this game. Um, and it has some really good arts, especially in particular for Overdrive. There are arts that are very good at building TP, and there are arts that are very good at, are okay at dealing damage. And there are arts that are incredibly good at building up um, the meter in Overdrive. Which is like the damage meter. It can also go up. Um, outside of overdrive count up, the counter can also go up when hits in when doing hits while doing co color combos. Um, so we have blood sacrifice. Blood sacrifice has their current HP, which will put us down to around three thousand HP, and boost TP Y one thousand. Uh, decoy is a guaranteed number of evaded, uh, evaded hits, I think it's like 15 or something, uh, for Ghostwalker. This is one of the best arts in the game because it just means that you don't have to worry about getting hit. Uh, Crisis Zone reduces auto attack intervals and lowers your HP. After it lowers your HP, it continually do deals damage to yourself. Uh, so this is a blue art, by the way. We have another blue art called Thirsty Edge, which restores HP. Uh, only one blue art can be active at a time. That's important to note. Executioner uh, deals weapon damage and boost damage in range combos. That's a theme of this set. Uh, deals weapon damage and inflicts dagger. And this one attacks from behind because one of the other themes is stealth. Zero zero is broken. It's really broken. It's like, it's like 10 or 20 hits. So that's so much overdrive count just built up instantly and each of those hits gives you 50 tp if it's a melee combo electric service do more damage the lower your health is um and yeah this is a bit of an awkward setup because the some of the hp loss arts are better than others blood sack is really good ghost walker is really good Crisis Zone is difficult to use, and so is Thirsty Edge. Electric Surge is, doesn't have amazing damage, and Executioner is generally really good because it's just a TP art, so you just need to have potential, you don't need to worry about your HP. But we really love the taking away your own health to attack stronger. It's so cool. So we're going to put some skills on and try and fight with this. And this is where we give a shout out to Background Noise for helping us get through the story. Thank you, background noise. We love you. There is a very sensible reason why we have a level 4 long shot. And it's because we think it's funny. We think it's really funny to focus on how far you can shoot something. And then I'll play Chronicles X for the Nintendo Wii U. 20 meters? Give me all that range. I'm gonna put- I'm gonna stack firing range up on my sniper rifle, and you, and it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so, uh, similarly, because we usually pick skills before you pick arts, because, uh, skills determine how you want to make your builds, so we had a little bit of a hard time choosing skills, uh, we went with Crisis Catalyst, because that seems like it would be a nice insurance, um, TP Overdrive is generally nice to have, uh, it's not necessary, but we're not used to this build, and we'd like to have some extra TP to work with in our search, because it increases potential. Uh, boosted bullets and combo gunner. Oh wait, we didn't put trigger gun. Wait. Oh my god, we didn't put trigger happy on. We thought that combo gunner was trigger happy. Um, okay. So, we're not playing with Crisis Catalyst because it, it means that we wouldn't get to play with these other ones, which are really important and really strong. <sighs> we're gonna... Our goal is to just do a lot of damage. Um, okay. Uh, strategy. We have 1,000 TP. We don't have any other party members. Okay. We don't have any other ways to spill TP. Okay. Uh, we're gonna change our arts, actually. Cool. 
So now we have Blood Sacrifice and Primer. And both of those increase our TP. Um, we haven't used the melee art. Please don't kill them. Yes, it missed! So, uh, zero, 0 hits a lot. <laughs> okay, nope. Uh, so we don't really have a game plan with this. Uh, but we're playing Full Metal Jaguar. We always have a game plan. And it is to use Ghost Walker at the beginning so we don't die. Use Blood Sack so we have some HP. And then just build up TP. Oh, we we saw that it was running out of last second, so we have to focus a lot during this. Immediate reuse, primary increases by 200. Um, are you hitting us yet? Nope. Let's tap. Let's tap. Oh, we didn't pick the gun that had. Oh my God, we didn't pick the gun that had overdrive up because it looked bad. Um, which is a pretty good goal. Okay. Does this count? Okay. Um, we're going to be silent this time. Just watch the game. Ready? It's really quite stressful when you're not, when you can't actually hear what's going on and you have a little bit of delay um, going on. And we're not used to this. Uh, executioner. So executioner is our main damage art. You saw it, it was what we used to kill them actually. Um, this one. We, to get the damage bonus, we need to have it combo into it from another ranged art. But the range art that we really like to use, or the range arts we have, get higher, get bonuses from combat into from melee arts. Um, all of the, all of the arts that we have that we can actually combo into those to get uh, overdrive bonuses, are all dual gun. Oh wait, no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Does this get zero zero bonus? It does. Okay, never mind. Blood sack is a sword move, so we're, we, okay, okay, that's awesome. We figured that out. Uh, we're gonna go find another enemy and test it out now. See ya. You really like the aesthetics of this game. It's it's so pretty. It's so it's so awesome. Um, we're considering fighting this enemy right here. This uh. This big, big hug of a friend, Fernando. We think we've done it before with Alma and had some trouble with it. And Alma has higher stats for Full Metal Jaguar because we, uh, because their battle points are separate and we don't have to focus on, on other weapons. Um, and our, uh, the levels of these weapons are quite low. Um, so we're going to try fighting this lower level tyrant. Let's try it. Thanks. 
it is such a darn luxury having having TP after a battle finishes. Like it's so nice. It's so nice. Just having leftover TP to use for whatever you wish. There are two um so the Arts Spiral Horn and um Sky High let you fly. Um we have seen some amazing so there's some certain enemies that can only be reached in the sky. Um, and fun fact, uh, the characters in this game can't fly on their own. Uh, so our little friend right here, they can't fly. So uh, we use our scale just over there in order to fly. Uh, but skill combat is, it's both less f interesting, we think, and, um, it's also generally less powerful because skill weapons ha are, have very long animations, are less effective, way harder to get good, uh, get good versions of, and, um, they have a damage cap, whereas ground gear does not have a damage cap. And has stronger arts. Fighting those enemies can be a pain, and some of them will not chase you to the ground either, so you can't just bring them to the ground with you. We have seen some people on Twitter do some incredibly creative stuff where they use the sky high uh, keeping you in the air glitch after a skull breaks. So if your skull is in midair and it gets erect, um, you you get sent flying outside of it. You are completely actionable while you're flying outside of it, and it considers you to be in a grounded state. You get when your skill gets trashed in midair and you fall out of it. You can pull out your weapon, use sky high, and then buffer an art afterwards. And it will keep you in the air, and then you can activate overdrive and if you buffer another art, you will remain in the air. It's so cool. We always forget about that technique, and it's so cool of knowing about it. Uh, you can also use Spiral Horn. We've dedicated a lot less time to um, Lance and Sniper Rifles, although we really like them, especially Sniper Rifles. We think they look cool. Look at her. She's just fucking shooting them. I think that's so cool. Fucked up! 
Perfect down. 